Hi there, Year 7. Um, your current booklet will be about computer systems. This will be a topic that you will be covering again, but in detail in Year 8. So there'll be a lot more different things that will be added to this. So here you have your computer systems and data representation knowledge organizer that you will get in September. OK, so this is about things about computer systems, hardware and software, storage units, binary conversion, bitmap images and some keywords. Sections C and E, you don't actually need for this unit of work. So don't worry too much about them. Just concentrate on A and B and then obviously your keywords. At the end of your knowledge organizer, you also have some questions. Bronze being those that are slightly easier. Silver a bit harder and gold are the ones that you need to be really aiming for if you're trying to get into the top kind of depth. Okay, so those are your computer science quizzes and just see how well that you do on these questions using your knowledge organizer, using the book pack that's also been sent to you as well. And again, this is a topic that we will cover in year eight, so we will give you some more information on that. So this is the uh, booklet that you've been given alongside the knowledge organizer. The knowledge organizer is there to help you answer some questions in this booklet. What is a computer system? So a computer system is a basic, complete and functional hardware and software setup with everything needed to implement computing performance. So if you look at the image below, that gives you some idea of the input and the outputs that are required um, for a computer system. So your computers at home are computer systems. Here we have an example from the booklet. This is just a question. OK, and you can actually use the current knowledge organizer that you've got. So not the one at the start of this slide, but you can use the one you were given at the start of this topic um, to help you answer the question. OK, so here it's talking about uh, magnetic disks. What are the advantages and disadvantages? And if you look in the corner, magnetic disks are second devices. So here it tells you um, what it's suitable for, what the capacity is, whether it's durable, poor. Speed is. So you can use your information from the knowledge organizer and transfer it to the questions that have been asked. The whole point of these knowledge organizers is to allow you to use that information to help you with your actual work. Hope that's been useful for you all. I look forward to seeing you all in September.